Hi, in this video, we are going to take a look at how to install the third party module in your Odoo. We can work on Odoo either in server or in locally. So, first of all, I am discussing how to install third party module in local version. Okay. So, I have opened my Odoo folder in the PyCharm. So, here we can see the configuration file of the Odoo that I have created. And uh, this is the add ons path. Now, we are going to add an extra directory in this folder. Let it be third party. Okay, so now we are going to add our modules, the third party modules or custom add ons into this folder. Okay, and this is my auto folder, and you can see the third party. Okay, so here we are adding our custom modules. I have already created a custom add-ons folder. This is it. And you can see all the custom add-ons I have added. Okay, now we are going to run the Odoo. First of all, I am going to activate the developer mode. Okay, this is already activated. Here is the option for activating or deactivating the developer mode. I'm going to apps, update apps. Okay. This is the custom add-ons folder that I have added. Uh, let's take an example, the base accounting kit module. Okay. So here we are searching for the base accounting kit. We cannot find the folder, I mean the module. Okay, there is no such folder or sorry, the module named base accounting kit. Okay, now we are going to add the add-ons path to the configuration file. We are adding the path here. Okay, now we are going to restart the Odoo. Updating the app list. Okay. Now we can see the base accounting kit module here and we can install. So the module is installed. The next case is installing add-ons in the server side. Okay. So basically we are installing Odoo in the OPT folder. Here is the OPT folder and inside of that uh, the Odoo folder. I am inside of the Odoo folder. Okay. Okay, this is the server side and this is my local. The server side, I already have a custom add-ons. Now consider this folder is also contains some modules which are third party. So 
I am going to open the terminal sudo scp minus i and we are going to uh, type the permission file of the IP address I mean server okay so here we can point to our permission file this is the path for the permission file okay mouse r and now we are going to copy the third party folder to the server so third party okay ubuntu at the ip address of the server ip address and instead of the folder opt and instead of the folder op. by this command we are transferring i mean copying the third party folder to the server side okay after that you have to edit the configuration file in the server side also here you can see the configuration no the configuration file is not uh, situated in here so we have to edit the configuration file which is located in the etc folder in the server and you can edit the configuration file and add the add-on path there by restarting the service you can see the third party module is in your app list now let's see how we can add custom add-on path in windows Thank you.